Hi, this message is for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, and Rising, or Venus and Aquarius. This is G1 Writer with G1 Insights. Today, I am providing you with your life and love overall energy. I have to apologize. I'm a little late with these videos. So what I'm going to do is uh, pass you monthly for you, okay? Like a pass you for April. Being the fact that I already kind of did a pass you for all air signs anyway. I'm going to do a reading for the month of April going into the month of May, okay? So, so far, Aquarius, this energy is um, about you kind of standing in your truth a little bit, okay? Um, I feel like a lot of you are either afraid to take the risk in love and, or for some of you, maybe you did and things are, are not going the way that you had liked them to, or maybe they are and maybe you're just afraid to trust the process Okay, but the universe is saying this, okay, rather than trying to control um, all of you, thank you, okay, so rather than trying to control the experiences of all others, which you cannot really do, no matter how hard you try, do this instead. Intend to control your own participation within those experiences, and by setting forth your clear image of life you want to live you will be guided in every moment you will be guided in every moment toward a smooth and a pleasant path for yourself so don't try to control the circumstances or the people involved or the situation that is involved this is one of them seasons where you want to just allow things to just kind of naturally unfold i feel like there are going to be some endings to some things, okay? This could be ending to an old habit, ending to a terrible relationship, and ending to um, something that was not working for you. And now the universe is giving you an opportunity to rebirth, to start something new, okay? Revitalize. <laughs> I like that word. Thank you. So this is about the universe allowing you to you know, like start over. You are feeling rejuvenated going into the month of May. I feel like the month of March and April was really, really spiritual for a lot of you. Um, I feel like a lot of you were seeing a lot of things um, about yourself that you saw in other people, which is interesting because that is pretty much what I talked about in your partial air sign video is about you, Aquarius, really trying to decide um you are trying to decide on something, whether this is to move or to get back with someone, to relocate with someone special, to reconnect with someone special. Um, this person that is uh, in your life, this person is, they, they really do, I feel like they love you, but there's some type of situation holding the relationship back. Or there may be something that maybe you and this person would like to start, but you can't because of circumstances or situations that have happened that is keeping you two apart, okay? Um, so just try to be a little patient. I feel like towards the month of May, mostly, like towards the ending of April, that would be most a better time to really, really be, get more clarity about the situation. Just because um, we, I know that we have another full moon in Libra. Um, and, you know, with Libra full moons, that always bring clarity to you, like psychic visions or epiphanies or dreams. So maybe you had a dream about this person. Maybe you're thinking about this person. Maybe they're always on your minds lately. And maybe you're like, what the hell? Like, I'm not even with this person. Why am I thinking about them all the time, right? Like, you're having all these different thoughts and visions of them. Um, for not all of you, but some of you, okay? Um, I would recommend that you guys check your sun, moon, and rising or Venus sign, Okay. But for a lot of you, you know, you did get leap of faith, okay? So Goddess Annie is saying, listen, take that risk, put your heart's true desire into action, okay? You have to do that, dear love. One of your overall energy cards was the door to romance, and upright is a very beautiful card. Like, it talks about new love, um, you know, someone new coming into your life, but it came out in reverse. So this is either someone new or... It, maybe it could be someone new, but it could be like a slow burn. Like, it could be one of those relationships where there's a lot of chemistry, a karmic relationship. You guys are soulmates, and maybe there's like a slow burn between you two, okay? Um, or this can represent a relationship that is currently stuck um, in a moment that is... Um, 
it's kind of stuck where in a moment you don't really want it to be stuck. You want things to move along. You want to be able to say, okay, what are we doing now? You know, and usually you're not so impulsive, but it's like, I feel like you are having like this second opportunity to work something out with someone. And it's like, there's, it's stuck for some reason. Like, it's, it's, see, there's a cage here, right? Like, you see that heart? inside of the cage it's in reverse so it's like you can't get out you know or this relationship just can't grow just yet not that it can't it just not right now okay so i feel like there's a pause but i feel like this pause is not gonna last forever it's just like a temporary pause okay so in other words my love just have hope that it's going to work out in your favor because i feel like it is anyway but i feel like a lot of you have been feeling really um scattered about the whole situation like really there's a lot of thoughts about whether you want to move on with this person or not or whether you should get back with this person for a lot of you this is what it is it could be a separation of some sort maybe you're like look i really want to be back with this person i can't be with you anymore or maybe um this could just be maybe you're walking out of a circumstance a love situation that really held you back um, or maybe someone did walk out on you before, like in your past, in past life. And now you guys are being brought back together. Destiny are bringing you guys back together for some odd reason. And a lot of you are like, this is weird. Like, this is fucking strange. Like, where you come from, right? Like, so I feel like there's a lot of hope in this card is what I feel. There's a lot of hope. Um, so... Or for some of you, you may just need to just get out. You may need to just walk out. And that's probably why the universe is saying, take that leap of faith. You know, if you feel like this person is for you, then you're going to have to probably uh, put on your tough shoes and really make it known. Look, I love you. I want you. I want things to work between us. I want to be with you. Like, that is going to be that overall energy. A lot of you have to take that risk in love. It's so easy to just like, I feel like a lot of you could even be holding on to something from the past. This could be a past lover, maybe someone who has really hurt you, maybe you walked out on this person, and it has caused you a lot of blockage in your heart, like it caused you a lot of blockage, has caused you to really not want to be open to love, and it caused you to really kind of, you know, retrieve and kind of take a step back when people are providing you with love, you've been really skeptical, um, not really being open to new ideas of love, feeling like you don't are less deserving uh, the type of spouse that you want, and that is really really far from the truth okay the universe is saying listen take that leap of faith okay you have it in you you know what you need to do get yourself together right and be with someone who's going to continue to bring out the best in you who's going to continue to make you laugh make you smile um someone who really really gets you someone who really really understands you on every level like you guys are like best friends right like this is not just any typical lover this is someone who really really connects with you like they really really bring out the best in you okay like they support you they are uplifting they're hard working they're funny they're sexy they're everything that you can literally want in a partner um however there has been some some blockages on either your part or maybe even both maybe between you and this other person maybe there has been some type of blockage where it's like both of you want the same thing but there's something else going on so you can't or again this could a lot of you could still be dealing with some of those past hurts and it's causing you to not want to move forward so a lot of you you are stuck in a situation and the universe is saying listen you got to follow your heart. You got to follow through. You got to believe that everything is going to work out in your favor. You cannot no longer go after what you deserve or what is desiring of you. Um, deserving and desiring of you, okay? You have to really truly follow your heart. Put your best foot forward is what I want to say, okay? For a lot of you, this is a season for you to be a bit more grounded, okay? So the past few months or the past few years for even some of you, Excuse me, for the last past few weeks or the past few months or past few years for some of you, um, there has been a lot of changes, rapid changes. And for a lot of you, it's, it's been kind of hard to just even catch up with your own life because it's just been like all over the place, right? Um, the universe is encouraging you to understand that... Um, this is a lot of earth energy, so I'm not sure why you got this. So please check your sun, moon, and rising or Venus sign, okay? Because this is earth energy, which represents either Virgo, Capricorn, or Taurus. Um, but somehow you are being called upon... Um, to help with environmentalism, okay? So that can mean simply taking care of your environment, 
you know, healing yourself, taking care of your personal environment, like your um, circumference, okay, your energy, okay, try to be, um, I know that Saturn is going to go retrograde back into Capricorn, um, I want to say around the 19th or the 20th, give or take a day, and then I know Pluto is also going to go into retrograde into Capricorn, so maybe that's why this energy came out, because this, Capricorn's energy is very, like, serious and stable and stable-minded, um, even in love, everything they do is practical, like, look, you love me or you don't, like, <laughs> so I feel like this season for you, Aquarius, is really going to be very anal, look, you love me, I love you, fuck the bullshit, what's up? You know what I mean? <laughs> or for a lot of you, this may just be simply clearing your circumference, clearing your energy, you know, being more grounded, being more stable minded, you know, or if you do, maybe you are um, in love with an, an earth sign or maybe uh, this earth sign is in love with you. Um, I think you guys need to talk and work some things out. I feel like there's a lot of um, energy around you, but this person, whoever this person is, they are really stable-minded, and they, however, they're practical, they love stability, they love to love, they're very solid people, and I feel like, Aquarius, you've been through enough, so you need someone who is very direct and very stable that can provide and and bring things to the table that's going to really really shake things up in a good way you know you had enough of people just coming into your life taking it from you and hurting you and last year around this time your energy was so heavy like i was crying i remember last year it was so heavy and this year i just feel a sense of clarity like a sense of no i'm doing a new thing i'm changing i have to change this is the reason why I have to change. You know, I have to change because I desire that and I want this and I need that and I need him or I need her. So I, I need to get myself together. Like I just feel a lot of clarity um, coming from you, Aquarius. So this is different. This is not your typical everyday impulsive energy. This is really you being more modern and sophisticated. Like, look. I'm a businessman, I'm a businesswoman, you know, I mean business, I'm going to come into this relationship and show them what I'm made of, I'm going to, you know, be everything that they need me to be, you know, because this can also be maybe somebody has threatened to walk out on you, right, um, this can even be somebody walking out on you or walked out on you in the past and now they're back or maybe you're trying to get them back somehow but somebody is playing a lot of like phone tag like yo what's up like you know what i mean <laughs> like uh, somebody's playing a lot of phone tag and a lot of like um messaging or trying to reach out to one another like but i feel like um don't stress out about the communication right now just be patient. I feel like going in towards the month of April, there's a lot more clarity. Trust me. With that full moon in Libra and with that, that Jupiter, I mean, not Jupiter. Jupiter went retrograde too, but it went retrograde in Sagittarius this month on April 10th. Okay? But Saturn and Pluto is going retrograde in Capricorn. So, again, you will feel a bit more serious about your finances, a bit more serious about your career, a bit more serious about your health. You're just taking things a lot more seriously these days. Um, but I feel like you're doing it with so much passion and so much dedication. I just feel a lot of commitment and clarity coming from you. Like, nope, I'm going to go to the gym. I'm going to stick with this journey. I don't care who says what. I'm, I'm not going to break my diet. I'm not going to hurt their feelings. Um, I I'm not going to spend too much money. I'm going to start saving. I'm going to start investing. I just feel like a lot of you are really uh, shifting your mindset, which is really, really powerful. Like, not empowerful. I was about to say, I was trying to say empowerment, but then powerful came out. I don't know. <laughs> so this is a lot of powerful energy, okay? So I feel really, really good doing your reading. Like I said, last year around this time, it was like, whoo. It was a lot of stuff coming at you, a lot of good things, but it was also a lot of emotional things happening, okay? Even in love, it was very heavy, okay? Now, you also got cycles and rhythms. Guys, please pay attention to different cycles and rhythms of your body. Listen to your emotions, okay, your energy levels. Pay attention to how your energy increase or decrease around others, Okay, you may feel like every time you're around a certain person, your energy is like really amazing, you're really upbeat, really happy, you feel really sexy, you feel really confident, because I feel like this person brings that out of you, like, 
They just, some for some reason, they just get you. Like, you guys are, like, really, really cool, right? Or if you don't have this person yet or they're not in your life yet, then that full moon in Libra may actually bring this new person to your life. But, my love, in order for you to even in, be able to enjoy that passion that's involved in that chemistry, you're going to have to let some things go. You're going to have to walk away from that old you, okay? Again, don't try to control your circumstances. I said that in the very beginning. Rather than trying to control the experience of all others which you cannot do no matter how hard you try instead intend to control your own participation within those experiences okay so you I mean you can I mean we all have destinies and you know a life purpose right however we also have free will we have free will we can say you know what Nope, even though I know that I was I was supposed to be with this person, I was with that person, I learned from that experience, a lot of things changed, I grew up, I got older, I've learned from my experiences, now I know what I'm capable of, now I know what I want, and I'm no longer wasting any more time. I'm getting too old for this, okay? Um, pay attention, like if you notice that every few months or every year or so you will go through the similar things like the same type of fights with the different people perhaps or maybe even within the same relationship it's just a pattern you don't like things that are restricted and just the same you like spontaneity you like adventurous things and I feel like even with this new person, you may have to explain that to them up front. Um, or this may just be a need to kind of just switch up your routine. Being the fact that it has been the same way for so long, again, there's a shift. There is a shift of the mind that is happening with you, Aquarius. So again, I just sense a lot of clear, clear consciousness, like um, clear sentiments, clarity, just a lot of clarity. Pay attention to your intuition and your solar plexus, my love. It's not going to lie to you, okay? Your intuition and that gut feeling is not going to lie to you. This person is in your life for a reason, and you have to open up, my love. You have to get rid of this, this energy that has been dragging along. Depression has to go. Um, sadness has to go. Insecurity has to go. It is time for you to finally be able to reap the rewards, um, okay? And that is why God is Annie is saying, listen, take that leap of faith. You always do it anyway. You always are impulsive. What is holding you back now? Why are you getting so afraid now? Why are you getting so scared now? What? Speak up. Say how you feel. Okay? Even if this is to get out of a tough situation, my love, you still have to speak how you feel. Honor the cycles of your body, your energy levels, and your emotions. Your gut is not going to lie to you, my love. If something is saying, listen, I got to leave this person alone, Leave them alone. If your spirit is saying, you know what, I really, really can't let this person leave out my life again, you better go get it. <laughs> Don't hesitate. Okay, so let's elaborate a bit more on love. Thank you, universe. Please show me Aquarius, Sun, Moon, and Rising, or Venus and Aquarius overall love energy or life. But I want to elaborate more on love because, oh, look at that. You saw that? Okay. But it came out of reverse. So the magician in the mirror. So guys, again, this is about you not recognizing your own willpower. You're not recognizing your own inner strength. And you have to. You have to believe that, look, I got what it takes. Look, let me show you the card, okay? Look at that. The magician in the mirror, okay? You choose your destiny. You are in charge of your life. You can determine whether you want to be with someone or not, or whether you want to start a new life with someone or not. Or if you want to continue to sit around and be depressed and be lonely, then that's your, that's your choice too. However, it, there's no growth in that. You get what I'm saying? Like, if you are not being fulfilled when you are dealing with someone else, then there's a problem. There's a problem. Fix it. Okay? So I got to go, guys, guys, but I do love you, and I just wanted to just give you an overall view of what it is that you are dealing with, okay? So I love you, Aquarius. You have a wonderful week, a wonderful month, and a happy spring wherever you are in this beautiful universe. Please like, share.